over to the beam. Our next competitor from Penn State, Gemma Cuff. She's from Penn State, but she's originally from England. She's a senior, five feet tall, competing all around. Now, this is a competition she's done very well in the past. Her best on the beam is a 9875, so she certainly, Kathy, is capable of putting up some decent numbers. A very good all-around gymnast, too. Placed 13th in the all-around at last year's NC2A championships. She is from Laurelboro, England. Now calls Happy Valley home. Her final year at Penn State. She's had a great career there. And she is set to take the beam in hostile territory because there's a lot of folks from Alabama sharing their hometown fans on, hoping that the tide does, in fact, roll. But this is Gemma Cobb set to take the balance beam from Penn State. Feeling a little bit more pressure here. Her teammate fell right before her. In fact, on the same mount she just performed, front tuck onto the end. It's a little bit more amplitude on those leaps. The judges are really looking for full split, nice height. Knowing that this is the first event of the season, are the judges cutting them any slack whatsoever, or are they trying to maintain the standards? I think judges are always trying to maintain certain standards. It's hard to do. It's very difficult from meet to meet and across the country. That's the biggest problem in collegiate gymnastics, is trying to keep the scores consistent across the country. <gasps> no. Nice save, but a very big break. You talked about it earlier, polishing these. These are the little things that they need to polish if they want to be there in April. Oh. A slight break on the landing for Gemma Cup from Penn State University. And again, a little bit of polish. She might be there. From the balance beam, we shift over to the vault. That's where the University of Georgia...